Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So here we're given a curve C with the following equation, which is 4x squared minus y cubed minus 4xy plus y 2 to the power y. And this is all set to zero. It, will also know, it is also known that the point P has coordinates minus 2 and 4 and this lies on this curve. Now, part A wants us to find the exact value once we differentiate this respect to x at the point P. In other words, differentiate and plug the P values into here. So what's happening? So how to differentiate this, this entire equation? Well, most of it should be pretty okay. The key idea is that when you differentiate an x term, you do as you do, because it, it says differentiate this respect to x. When you differentiate y, well, we're going to have a look exactly what happens there. So step by step, each term. So the first term, 4x squared, what happens? Well, we can say that 4x squared can be differentiated to get 8x. Remember, you drop the power down. Now, y cubed is, is quite easy. It just, you just drop the power like you do with the x term, so it would be 3y squared. And because it's y, you automatically have to multiply by dy over dx. Just to indicate that it's been differentiated with respect to itself. Okay, so not so bad. That's literally all you do. Next one, minus. So notice how we got 4xy. So this is actually a product of 4x and y. So we can say, suppose, I don't know, let u equal 4x and... Um, say v equal y now we just use the product rule so the derivative of 4x is of course 4 and the derivative of y is dy over dx because that's just what it is and now using the product rule so it's very easy you just do u times v prime so that would give us over here so it'd be 4x times dy over dx and the next one would be v times u prime so this term so it'd be y times 4 so it'd just be 4y Remember, it's product, so we're going to be adding. So it'll be plus, and oh yeah, just one thing to note, I should put a bracket here. So it'll be plus 4y. So always put a bracket when you're dealing with individual products. Now, next part. So here comes a new one. So now we need to differentiate 2 to the power y. So there is a special technique to do this. I mean, sometimes you could just memorize solution, but I think we should take our time. So let's say, let me write somewhere else. So suppose we have, um, let um, 2 to the power y be represented in terms of exponentials and logs. That's usually the best way to do it. We could say um, the exponential of the log of 2y, which is actually the same thing by the way, just these two cancel out, can be rewritten as e to the power of y log 2. Now notice what I did here. I've made it e to the power y, which is a standard format like e to the power x, and now you've got a standard number log 2. So if you do differentiate this, you would just drop log 2 down to the, to the baseline. So let's have a go. Let's differentiate this term. If we were to differentiate, what would we get? So dif differentiate this and you should get, well, drop log 2 down because the, the derivative of y log 2 is just log 2 on the floor. And because you differentiate y, we multiply by dy over dx. And then we just copy the whole equation. So we can, instead of writing this back in, I'm going to go back and write 2 log 2 to power y. So times 2 to power y. So yeah, it does look like a long, long, you know, four-step procedure, but it's not too terrible. So literally, this is just going to be as you see. So we could just say log two times dy over dx times two to the power y, all equal to zero. Now let us move on. So the question now tells us is that we've got to find the exact value of this equation, yeah? What well, the exact value of dy of dx? So technically, we need to make it a subject, but before that. We could um, go ahead and collect terms, I think. I think that would just make it a lot easier. So let's make, let's collect all the dy dx terms here. So I'm gonna put dy dx here. And notice that we have firstly minus three y squared, so we can collect that. So collect all the like terms. And then expand this bracket, we can have minus four x dy dx, so we can put minus four x. And then we also have plus log two times two to the power y. So we can say plus, I'm gonna rewrite it as 2 to the power y times log 2. Just avoid any confusion with 2 and 2y. And all of this, and now if we rearrange the rest of it, so I'm going to just copy the rest back in actually, that'll make it less confusing. So we, we didn't put plus 8x, so that's other term. We also got minus 4y, and that's it, done. So now all I want you guys to do is replace the x and y values with minus 2 and 4. See what this term gives you. And what this term gives you. Okay, so let's evaluate this piece by piece because the reason why we need the exact value. So we've got 3y squared minus 4x. So plugging in x for minus 2 and y for 4, 
we should get so just bear me a second for squared minus four times minus two and i got minus 40 for these two terms so minus 40 and these two here so two to power y log two two to power y two to the power four i believe it's 16 if i remember yep so it'd be 16 log two and then finally looking at 8x minus 4y what do we get here so it'd be 8 times minus 2 minus 4 times 4 and i got minus 32 and that's it guys literally we're literally done here so all we want to do now is pretty much rearrange this to make dy dx subject so by doing that by plusing 32 and dividing by minus 40 plus 16 log 2 we should get the following so let's see um okay so 32 across all over let me see um i'll put this first 16 log 2 minus 40. now can we simplify this firstly so the all the all divisible by 2 4 yep all divisible by 4 8 yes 8 as well so let's divide it all by 8 so 32 over divided by 8 will give us um 4 just i'm just checking if it's true yeah of course it's four 16 divided by 8 will give us 2 log 2 and then minus 40 divided by 8 will give us uh, minus 5 so yeah this should be the final answer hopefully with no you know odd calculations so double check if you get the same result as me if not just drop a comment below and confirming it or just just you know let me know guys yeah